Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, I just thought I'd do a little quick walk around of the garden, January 20th, I think it is. Uh, don't want to miss that. Do a walk around of the garden, just kind of document this, well, how it comes, how we do this here. This is the third year, starting of the third year for this. I'll have some pictures in here of what it looked like originally. And what we've done with it so far, you know, the fence, uh, about 32 by 40 is the area inside the fence. Got a fence across up there and the one on the other side for the chickens. And the chickens will be relegated to the upper, upper part in the back. And uh, but like I say, this is the beginning of the third year. Last year came out really nice. Um, we're just going right on top of the hard clay here. We really haven't brought any dirt in. And so we did this side. We've had cabbage, beets, onions, kale, beans, peas, sprouts, or uh, bean sprouts, I forget, but several different things. On the other side over there, the whole lower half was tomatoes, peppers, and broccoli. I did some corn up the upper part last year, but it rained real heavy a couple days later and just washed it all out. So, but the PVC up there, I tried to do a, a arch and I had it on the downhill slope and it snowed a little bit and it just put weight on it and snapped it right over sideways. Never stood a chance with a load on it. Other than that, it worked pretty good. I'm gonna do a, uh, some more tiering and put maybe three tiers over here and two big ones on that, or one big one on that side and on the upper half I'm gonna do a greenhouse there and flatten out the top there and down here. This little hoop house worked great. Okay, you guys see this. She has got her thing in the fire pit. And if you have chickens, you know what she's carrying. So yeah, she pulls fire out of, or wood out of the fire pit and chews on it. We have to go put it back in all the time. But anyway, back to the garden. Um, there's some cabbage sprouts down here. We had the hoop house over before, and they were holding up, but they weren't really going to add up to anything. I think we pulled them out, cut them out, and I cut them up and threw them for the chickens or something like that. The outside here is just going to be more flower garden. And, the, you know, the, the old chicken coop, I'll put the new one up on the upper half. And I got a, you know, got the one tier there now. And I'll do another one where the umbrella is, and that'll be flattened out. And then I may extend this wall out around that tree. And then all that will eventually be taken down, I do believe. Because I'll build a new chicken coop up there. And uh, this fence here is on the back of a guy's truck down the street. He was going to scrap it. I gave him 20 bucks for it. It's that old style hoop top. And nice good size roll, maybe about 50, 75 feet. And uh, I'm going to use that. Oh, man. There's the king up on the hill. I'll put the camera down in a minute and feed him some bread. And try to get some good pictures of them. There's two flocks there. Uh, original one and then one of the hens went broody last year. And I got rid of the rooster I had because me and him fought constantly. And this one, I just stay away from them. They're fenced off in the upper back, so they're fine with me. But that's uh, first here. I don't think I'll use railroad tie again. So I'm going to put it down and get all the chickens down here. Get, get some bread to them. You can kind of see all of them. And then, uh, but yeah, that's what it looks like for the beginning of this year. Started putting some seeds in, starting some seeds this week. And got a little greenhouse thing inside the picture window in the house. So, so thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Here I'll throw in a little bit of video of the chickens out running around. There's two different flocks here. Had Funny story, when we first got the first 12, 
my stepdad, he went out and got 12 of them, came by, he said, you take six, I'll keep the other six. And I took six roosters out of, they were, they were still pretty small. So once we found out there were roosters, and I had six roosters running around this backyard, the, uh, we took them back out to the guy, of course he exchanged them, no big deal. But there were two men, five roosters, and a Prius. And it's not a joke. And they crowed, it was about 40 miles out, for, uh, well 40 back, but 40 miles out, they just crowed the whole way. Oh, it was the funniest thing. Had three different little kennels, and just crowing all the way. But that's the rooster. This one, the last rooster I got rid of, we had several fights. And this one hasn't wanted to attack me yet, but we have them secluded up to the backyard now. So. He's got some real nice looking colors on him. And when I throw bread out for him like this, he just walks around make sure everybody gets some and he won't take any. If I put it down, he'll hold it in his mouth and let the girls come over and take it out. So. Anyway, I'll walk around the rest of it here. Mutt and Jeff. A couple more of them out there. I haven't got any. And a couple of the girls in laying eggs. Yeah, that's all they're getting. 